Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. We're going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. We're going to do a Taurus reading. Taurus. And I do hope that your reading will be better than the Aries reading I just did. I also want to say Happy Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends. Blessings, darling. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Taurus. Let's go, darling. Spirit in the room. Let's go. Let spirit speak. Taurus. If you have a hard time hearing me, like some people do, go down to the bottom of the video and you'll see the word more. M-O-R-E. Just a little tiny word. You push on that and then go into transcript. You'll be able to read what I'm saying. All right, so Taurus, now do you have people, two people looking at you? Possibility of two people looking at you. <laughs> one from the past, one yet to come. How is it both decide to come at the same time? How is that? How does someone in the past know that you're dating someone else or that someone else is coming towards you? How do they know? Well, either they're keeping tabs on you or you're putting it on social media or you got a spy and someone's giving out information. But I got someone that's coming towards you. Possibility before Christmas, actually, here. This is a young person. There is an age difference here. They're either younger than you or, or you're younger than them, but there is an age difference. Now, there's passion, Taurus, but it's not, you know, how some people, when they first meet, it's like they, they just got that yearning for each other. This is different. This is not that passion, like, I gotta have you, gotta have you now, that kind of thing. No. No, this person is more with holding within. Uh, probably someone of great respect. But it shows here. That there's some sort of an ending. Now I'm just going to kind of go with spirit here and throw this in. I got a feeling that whoever you're about to meet has come out of a bad situation with someone who may have lured it over them. So this may indicate why they're a little bit standoffish when it comes to grabbing at each other. This person's gone through something. They still have a heart where they're open to someone new. But yet, they're very, very careful. Guard it shall we say. Not only that, they've got some kind of, um, let you little, know a little bit about them. There is an age difference. But something else about them is that they seem to be climbing the corporate ladder. Where the hell did that come from? I don't normally speak like that. Who was that? <laughs> but we're going to go with it. <laughs> I like it. We're going to go with it. They seem to be climbing the corporate ladder. They're not where they want to be. But by God, darling, they're climbing. And soon their celebration will come. This is someone who's going to be quite big. They have a lot of dreams. A lot of dreams. But there's someone else. 
the truth is, let's talk about the truth. The truth, the truth is that, yeah, this is a soulmate that you will meet. But this soulmate is a little bit, a little bit, because of what they've gone through, something very, very painful. Because of what they've gone through, they had to make a decision. I just got the feeling that the person that they may have been with or it could have been a mother. But there was someone here that was almost like a tyrant. Someone that was controlling. But the truth is, this one here, this new one, intermingles with the old. Oh my God, what a web we weave. This is someone that might know the old. They might be a little bit standoffish because, okay, oh, oh my goodness, take a spirit. They may be a little bit standoffish because if they're not a friend of the old, then they're a relative. Hmm. But there's something here. The truth is there's something here between these two. And here it comes. Here, here they come. Here they come. The smooth talker. And the sexy walker. Young, playful, joyful. Went through some kind of hell. A little bit guarded. This is someone who's probably testing the waters. I will need the temperance card for that. If that would like to come out. Hmm. Someone getting ready to climb the corporate ladder. Yeah, this is somebody. Taurus, this is somebody who already knows, possibly knows your ex. This is someone who probably has watched you heal from the past. This is someone who's been wanting to have a chance to tell you how they feel. With the Ace of Cups coming out here and knowing that you're not so wrapped up and, and you're healing now and resting and healing or you are healed with the three of swords reversed. This tells me that healing has been done. Not so much in the past anymore and feeling the pain of what used to be. But this person wants to bring you a cup. This person is ready to come to you and confront you. Hmm. But from what I'm seeing, it's someone that you know. Or it's someone that knows someone else from the past. It comes to communication. You can't make this shit up when spirit speaks, spirit speaks. Hmm. Spirit, words, words. Give me words. Okay. Why is this person standoffish? Why is this person on guard? Why is this person not all over you? 
there's something here but a bad ending. And why, oh why, oh why? What is the truth? And why are these two stuck together? Who are these? One is your past. Who's the other? And why are they guarded? Why do they have their wands up? Why do they feel that they are the sacrificial lamb? Oh, my God. Hmm. Here they come with a gift or a token, or the gift could be a compliment, a, a gift of speech, something here. What is this gift? Are they come here comes the communication coming with the gift coming with a cup coming with a cup because they see wait they see that you're healing and they're coming with a cup here comes the gift of communication don't end this the death card in the reverse don't end this Don't end this. That's what the communication is. Communication is something about the Ten of Pentacles and hold on. Hold on to your Ten of Pentacles. Now, if I come to you, say, hi, Taurus. We know each other. I'm standoffish, but yet I'm cool. But I'm not hugging you or jumping at you. I'm, I'm just sitting over here. You sitting over there. Hi, Taurus. We know each other. I see you're healing. I see you're not feeling as bad as you used to. And I've been selected as a sacrificial, as a sacrificial goat. For what? What? have I been selected for? What have I been sacrificed for? To bring you a gift. Conversation. To please don't end this. Hold on, because this is your Ten of Pentacles. Hold on to it. Are you starting to catch on? Are you starting to get it? What am I doing there? What is it I'm saying to you? Don't end this. I'm sitting way over here. You're sitting across the room in your own chair. I'm not interested in going over there and giving you hugs. You know me. I come to talk to you. Don't end this. Why am I sacrificing? Who am I sacrificing for? Whose behalf am I on there for? Whose name do I come in? The wheel. Someone has sent out a scout. There it is. Someone sends out a scout. There it is. Someone's hoping that the wheel turns if they send out a scout. If they send out a sacrificial lamb. Go. Talk to Taurus for me. Tell them don't, don't end this. Got it? 
spirit. Tradition. Marriage. Bye-bye. The Six of Swords. Bye-bye. Is this a divorce? Is this someone that you had to leave or they had to leave you maybe for religious reasons? For family religious reasons? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God, you can't marry Taurus. What are you thinking? What is it? There's something. There's something here. You do not feel the wealth in this at all. I feel very, very strongly that you are doing a lot better. I think whatever you went through was freaking incredible and painful. I believe that whoever you had to heal from came and went, came and went. Because before the pain, I've got these messengers coming back and forth. Someone's being selected or nominated to come and talk to you. And I was wondering why... Why is this person, a younger person, could be their child, their son, their daughter, could be using their son or daughter as a ploy to get you to come back? What I'm saying is someone wants you to come back to the extent, to the extent that they send out a scout. The truth is, I mean, I only need three cards there. The truth is, someone's connected to somebody here. Because I was thinking, why? How would somebody know if you're dating somebody else or if you're interested in dating someone? Unless you're blabbing it all over social media before it even happens. But somebody's connected here to someone in the past. It's a soulmate. And it appears it's someone that you know and, and someone that you feel so many connection with. It could be a child because I do have a much younger person. <laughs> Whoever it is, they are climbing the corporate ladder. This is someone who's probably still in school. Someone who's going to college or university. Someone climbing. And I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? What is a new beginning? What is a cup that's rushing over? Well, the truth is, is someone's being sent to you. I mean, you can't make this shit up. I wish I could, like, turn it around and find out uh, is it someone new? But it's not. It's not because the truth is it's all right here. And here. Someone's sending out a scout. In hopes. In hopes that the wheel will turn. In hopes that you will listen to them. Look, a younger person coming. A smooth talker, a sexy walker, it's a, it's a younger person coming with a token, and the token is conversation. It's not a token of love, like a cup, but somehow they bring a cup to you. Like, my dad wants you to come back. My mom wants you to come back. I'm bringing the cup for them. Uh, I'm the sacrificial lamb. I'm the one that was chosen to bring it to you. Or, or, they know I'm coming, but I agreed to come because I want you to come back too. Either way, someone's coming. A 
a divorce. Something happened that maybe it was a different ethnic group. Or you were frowned or shunned upon by the family because of something. Whatever it is, somebody wants you to hold on. Taurus, we know each other. I want you to hold on because I know, I know you guys love each other. And I know there's a, the, the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of Pentacles here. And I think you should hold on to it. <laughs> Should you hold on to it? Who am I to tell you yes or no? I mean, there could be great happiness there. All I see is that you're healing. All I see is someone else is worried. Who's here? Scorpio, Aries. Virgo. Virgo. Cancer. Well, Pisces. Taurus. Capricorn. All signs are on the board. These are the signs that are prominent in your reading. I like this reading. It actually made me head to work. You know, I, I enjoy these. Sometimes these tough puzzles that the spirit gives me. See if I can figure it out. Thank you, spirit, for the reading. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And if you like the way we read, please like and share. And we'd really, really appreciate it that if before you go, you reach back and you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell. And hope you'll be notified next time we put a video out for you. Namaste.